In this video, I want to provide a summary of some of the Kronecker product properties which we're going to use in deriving certain properties about estimators. In particular, we're going to use it to derive some properties about the Schur estimator as well as about some of the panel estimators. So if I have a matrix X and a matrix X is defined as the Kronecker product between matrices A and B. Remember, we write the Kronecker product a sort of a, a circle with a cross in it. And then if I define another matrix Y, which is the Kronecker product of matrices C and D, then I could think about the conditions under which I can multiply these two particular matrices. So if I was to form the product XY, so the normal product XY, then we can think about what dimensions X and Y would have to have, because this is just the ordinary product. So if x has dimensions p by q, that means that in order for this particular product x, y to be defined, y must have dimensions q by something else. Let's call it r. Okay, so if I write the right-hand side of this product, assuming that the condition that the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second, then I can write that x, y is equal to the Kronecker product of a with b, times the Kronecker product of C with D. And it happens to be the case, I'm not going to define why this is actually the case, this is equivalent to the product of AC, or the Kronecker product of AC rather, with BD. So the way in which it works is you take your first matrix and you multiply it by the first argument in the second parenthesis, and then you do the same with the latter two matrices in each of the two individual parentheses. Okay, that rule's simple enough. Let's now think about what happens if we take the inverse of the matrix X. Then if we take the inverse of the matrix X, this is the equivalent to taking the inverse of the Kronecker product of A with B. And it happens to be the case that this is actually a very simple rule, and all we need to do is take the Kronecker product of the inverse of A with the inverse of B. Although you have to be a bit careful here because unlike the normal matrix product, the normal one which we talk about, so that's this one which I've indicated up here, the order of multiplication does not invert under or when I take the inverse of that particular matrix or the inverse of a product of matrices. So that's just something to be a little bit aware of. Similarly, if we define the transpose of the matrix X, that's equivalent to the transpose of the Kronecker product of A with B, and it follows exactly the same rule as the inverse. This is equivalent to the Kronecker product of the transpose of A with the transpose of B. And I think those are all the rules which we need to know in order for us to use Kronecker delta products in order to be able to quite efficiently derive nice properties of estimators.